Hey guys, Calibrated Power back at you here with our rock sword. This thing's been a trip. So we started off at 52 horsepower. We tuned it the first time, 80 horsepower. Add a boost increase valve. Kind of work on the tune a little bit. We end up at 117 horsepower. And then we kind of notice we might as well faster than that. So Stealth 41 RX Turbo. So we put a little turbocharger together for this thing. And if you notice, I got this manual boost controller kind of hanging out over here. And this has been letting me tune the wastegate setting so I can try different boost settings. But if you peek down in there, you can see a black pipe and you can see my boost sensor. And you can't really see the turbocharger, but I'll tell you that it looks pretty much stock. Don't be fooled though, pretty much stock looking doesn't mean pretty much stock performing. So we go from a small lower 30 millimeter compressor wheel up to a 41 millimeter compressor wheel and a 52 millimeter turbine. Those are the biggest wheels you can fit in a stock appearing turbo on the Rocksor, and this thing rips. Now, we went from running 9 pounds of boost stock, 16 pounds of boost tuned at 117 horsepower, and now we're up at about 27 pounds of boost at 200 horsepower. With all that boost, we got to cool off the hot air. When you start compressing that much hot air, not good for the engine. EGTs climb really quickly. So I'll bring your attention right in here, and you can see we got the intercooler mounted right behind the grill there. So that intercooler is going to take all that hot air and let the stack cool it off. So we'll pull air off at 300 plus degrees Fahrenheit and it'll go into the engine below 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Every degree of heat you pull out of the intake charge comes out of the exhaust. So if we want to keep those EGTs down, we want to keep this engine happy for a long time. Come around here, I'll show you one more thing that we did. And you can kind of peek in here at this fuel pump. What you'll notice is this is not a stock fuel pump, this is a CP3 pump, and here's a fuel pressure regulator. So what we've done is we've added that CP3 pump, which gives us a lot more volume of fuel and allows us to turn the tune-up even higher. So to go past that 120 horsepower, we need more fuel. Add the CP3 pump, we got 400 horsepower worth of fuel. Of course, we're not using that yet, but we have it on tap if we need it. So we got this thing turned up now 200 horsepower, not even working that CP3 at all. The injectors have a lot more in them. The truck feels really happy at this power level. We'll see how long-term durability is. So far, so good. I think this is kind of going to be the sweet spot for this thing for performance application. The truck has a clutch in it. You know, it puts the power down strong, but we're not talking about really heavy-duty parts here. 400 foot-pounds of torque on stock running gear. It's going to get rowdy. One of the things you might find interesting is that the catalytic converter on this thing is not that restricted. We ran it on the dyno, it was like maybe two or three horsepower. It's nice to have the diesel smell gone, it's nice to have the truck quiet. We left the cat on the truck. I did, however, take the stock exhaust off after, and that was worth almost 10 horsepower. So I had Wade, Diesel Freak, sent me a two and a half inch exhaust, aluminized. Got it on the truck, looks really nice. Got the standard discharge out the back here. And if you want to hang out, I'll fire it up so you can hear it. Can't wait to take this thing out and do some shredding, throw some dirt, do some donuts. It's going to be fun. Stay tuned.